What's going on guys? It's Danny from Slow Restoration and we bought one of the cheapest Calac Escalade ESVs we can we can find. Scout never lets me talk. He's always whining and he's still scared of the camera. But anyway, back to the Escalade. As you can tell, it does have a slight front end collision damage. We did already pull the grill out. I've actually had this for a little while. And kind of, let me get Stop it. There we got a little bit of peace. Um, where was I? So we, we have had this for a little while. Wasn't 100% sure what I was going to do with it. It's really not in terrible shape. Like I said, it does have some slight front end collision. Damage the hoods pop. But uh, as you can see, the bumper cover is messed up. Pretty good on this side. The headlight still works, but the lens is busted. Um, as you can tell it's running it actually sounds good it runs and drives very well I think like I said I was up in the air what I was gonna do with this and I think we're actually going to uh, do some repairs uh, this is a very very popular platform it's very accessible right now they're pretty cheap they're fairly cheap to work on so we're gonna show the repairs it needs to do needs done we're going to show how to do them it's pretty common uh, issues with this platform you know the, the Chevy Tahoe Suburban uh, the GMC Yukon Yukon XL and then of course the Escalade ESV and then the standard Escalade um, so we'll show how to do some of them we've actually already did some of the uh, repairs so some of the footage you're going to see is older we Drove this around in the snow a little bit as you can see it's pretty dirty it's got salt all over it um, it is a beater um, the interior is pretty pretty beat up I'll pop the trunk here as you can tell someone really did not take very good care of it um, I haven't even cleaned the back of it yet <clears throat> the front of it I started cleaning up you know seat is uh, cracked up the leather um, but started cleaning the dash and stuff up it actually cleaned up fairly decent it does have 227,000 miles on it um, like I said we already did some of the repairs so I'll roll some of that footage right now got a little snow last night we're getting a little bit of a late start here but let's see how the Escalade does in the snow we got it cleaned off got it running here and warmed up a bit let's see how it does well, first thing I noticed, we looks like we do need a set of windshield wiper blades, but that's minor. We can pick them up. Um, gave it a little bit of a throttle input on the driveway, and it definitely has the all-wheel drives working. So, yeah, the roads are pretty much clear now. So, this probably isn't going to be all that interesting, but eh, it's the first drive in the snow anyway. We were able to find a road with still a little bit of snow on it. Oh, it's got traction control. It definitely shut it right down. Ah, oh, nasty. Old gravel road. The old Escalade definitely uh, lives up to its name though. It's It definitely rides like a Cadillac. If I come down this in my truck, uh, you're bouncing all over the place. We're nice and steady and smooth here. <laughs> That's funny. Nice quick little trip in the Escalade. Scout seems fine with it. It's just about as comfortable to him as the the Yukon, the Quadra Steer, but it's a Cadillac. Interior is definitely a little beat up, a little dirty. Definitely need to do a good detail on it, but um, I like it. All wheel drive. It's got the six liter LQ9 in it, so it's got the little bit more powerful six liter than the LQ4. And, uh, it's Calac. And we're going to look at some parts uh, from front end parts. Found a guy's parting one out. 
Uh, it's got a whole front clip on it. We're gonna go check it out. And we're definitely way back in the sticks here. So let's see how this goes. All right, guys, that was definitely worth the trip. Um, as you can see in the back there, we got a whole pile of parts. We got a pair of fenders. Um, we got a pair of fenders, a whole bumper, a radiator support, and the hood. And it all fit right in the back here. So um, that should really change uh, the direction on this truck. Um, really, the body's not bad except for that front light front end collision. So now we have a front end, whole front clip that's actually really decent shape. So let's get home. Um, the guys were really helpful. Um, they're actually doing an LS swap project and I think we'll be able to help them out on that. So worked out for everyone. We made it back home and I'm pretty happy with this purchase. We just gotta get this stuff out and uh, get it installed. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna just go ahead and paint this stuff while it's off and then install it, or if I'm gonna maybe do something else like wrap it. Um, the color of ours is like that champagne color and this is a pearl white so it's not drastically different so if we wrapped it the jams wouldn't be crazy especially since it's the whole front clip um, you really wouldn't notice until you pop the hood but yeah let's get all this stuff unloaded um, as you can see we got everything packed in there um, hauls it good it's maybe the only uh vehicle that can pretty much haul itself inside itself show you under the hood here real quick i did uh i did take i do have the engine cover we'll throw that back on i wanted to make sure actually we still have to do valve cover gaskets on this that's why it's off i did already do um if you haven't already seen it i did already do the oil pressure sensor which is a very common issue it was bad and starts leaking and once i got the covers off i could see the valve covers were also uh leaking so we need to pick them up and do them but let's, let's shut the uh, hood here and we're going to take it for a test drive and i'll show you one of the things we're actually going to do right now um it's got a 4l65e which uh I, I don't like I don't like the 4L60 trans at all. 4L65 is slightly better because it's a little heavier duty, but it's essentially the same transmission. So I much rather have it have the 4L80E that's right inside there. We have the Yukon XL Quadra Steer. Uh, it's a 2500 and it has the 4L80E. Uh, much better transmission, much stronger. <clears throat> I like the way it shifts way better. But anyway, let's get this out on the road and we'll show you the upgrade we're about ready to do. And if you have a half ton Chevy GMC, Cadillac even, in this generation, you could definitely benefit from having this upgrade. It is a crying shame. I mean, these things were pretty nice when they were new. Got the wood grain and fake wood grain and stuff like that. It's a, a, a real shame that people don't take care of their stuff. I would have never let this thing get this bad, but it is what it is now. Um, you know, it's even got the Cadillac em embroidered in the headrest, but it is what it is. We're just gonna make the best we can out of this and put it to good use. So the problem I'm talking about on these 4L60 slash 4L65s is kind of mushy shifts. Uh, one, two shifts. Sometimes they'll actually, they call it the, the slide bang. So they'll, they'll actually shift. You can hear it make the shift and then it'll feel like it shifts again as it actually goes in gear. So it's kind of a delayed shift to where it's, I guess it is slipping some, but it doesn't fully go in the gear it's just not firm shifts um, typically you like a nice firm quick shift and they are notorious for not having nice firm quick shifts they're just mushy so a very easy fix um, it's easy to do pretty much anyone could could do this with a little bit of knowledge and patience um, we're actually gonna throw this one up on the lift right now we have a kit it's the Corvette servo you can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them on eBay, you can buy them all over the place. If you do get one, just make sure you get one. It's the complete kit, comes with the O-rings and the sealing seals. Um, sealing seals, that didn't make any sense. They have sealing rings. 
All right, guys, we're firing up the Extreme. Uh, we haven't driven this in a while either. We actually got our very first mod done to our uh, Cadillac Escalade. So we have to use this and go pick it up. It's at Pristine Auto Detail, not far from us. So let's get on the way. We gotta grab Scout. We have a Scout and we're on our way. What do you guys think the first mod's gonna be on the Escalade? All right, we're getting ready to pull in here now. There it is. We do have the grill out of it. I started doing the front end work. Uh, let's see if we can see what's going on when we pull up here. There it is. You recognize the first mod? All right guys, we got the front windows tinted to match the rest of the truck. Looks like they just finished up with it. Go over on this side. Yep. So we did this to the um, Yukon also, and it turned out really well. So I just had these uh, matched. It makes them look a lot better, and uh, driving, especially in the daytime, it's a lot easier on you. Here's Chad's information. All right, guys, so we can get Scout out of our seat. We're gonna drop the S10 off, and it is actually for sale, guys. So I just don't drive it. It sits, it's a nice little truck, but it's for sale. So um, now we have this to play around with too. We've got the windows tinted. Scout already got slobber on them, but let's get home. All right guys, we're back home. And like I said, it looks much better. Just evens it the whole side out instead of having pretty nice tint in the back and nothing on the front. It just makes it nice and even now. So first mod done. Now time to fix all the little little issues this thing has and put it into service. But I think what we're actually gonna do with this is surprise my wife with a upgrade. Uh, I mean, I know it's a beater, but it's still an upgrade over her current work truck. Um, we do commercial and residential window cleaning and this is gonna replace her S10. It's big enough if you've never seen inside these things. Uh, with the front seats folded down and the back seat out, you can actually put a lot. You can put a four by eight sheet of plywood in here, no problems at all. So all of our equipment will easily fit in there and it'll be inside. And after all, it's a Cadillac. 